So everybody, blessings to you today. Good to have you, son. Good to have you today. Absolutely. You know, so we talked about in the broadcast how Satan was using the seed principle and operating in the circulation of trading, uh, being able to sow and reap in heaven. And just think about this, the, the angelic, the angelic also has different reaping levels because they reap at the level that they're using their, their, their honor towards God. Now, people don't even understand this. In eternity, it, there's different depictions of honor going on because the elders, the 24 elders come and lay down their crowns at Jesus' feet. At the feet of the lamb, because the crowns is signifying a financial value, because those crowns cost a lot to create. They're full of gold and diamonds and all these things. They're pitting these diamonds at the feet of Jesus. Hmm. So even the 24 elders are still sowing strong, repetitively, continuously today. They're still going before the Lord with their best seed because that, that crown that they're wearing is, is a costly crown. Hmm. Not everybody in heaven is wearing that crown. It's only uh, surrogated. It's sanctified for the elders. So apostolically, when a person starts sowing seed, it's impossible for them not to upgrade and advance in the spirit world because that activity is carrying a, a, a translation of God's personality, his nature, his power to you so that you could, your brain will go to the next degree of the supernaturality and divinity and the image of God and the likeness of God. Because the investment is you plugging in to his person so that you could be how he made you to be in the first place. Satan knows that if a person operates in the seed, they will betray evil. They will betray witchcraft because this is the kingdom of heaven becoming the, the sole influencer of how you carry yourself as an individual and how you sculpture your life and what you permit. Because see, until you start sowing seed, you'll permit a lot of stuff that's out of order and chaotic and not even see that it should be rebuked, confronted, uh, bound. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. You don't know that you're supposed to bind that thing. You, you don't know that uh, there's certain ways about you that's wrong. Son, even you see how I give the revelation on cleaning. Mm -hmm. I said uh, people clean and they go in circle of motion. <laughs> and somebody vomit. They, they clean in the vomit in <laughs> circle of motion. They don't fit the vomit all in a cycle. When um, to clean properly, and, and even people got to learn how to clean itself properly. <laughs> you, everything requires so much intelligence and protocol to know how to conduct it. It requires you to know the depths and, and comprehend the depths and the brilliance of how to make that thing effectively uh, and, and, and bring it into the correct um, uh, condition that it's supposed to be in. So these are things that you learn through sowing. The Holy Ghost talked to you when you sow a seed as a, as a reward for you honoring him. See, God talks to everybody. But when you're a seed sower... He, he on purpose specializes your rewards because he wants to show you this is the VIP for honoring me. What, what, what's on your heart, son? You, you, you've been sowing real strong. By the way, Bennett been experiencing so much miracles, experiencing so much financial favor and mental favor where his brain is able to flow with me and operate. But I'm watching Bennett I can see you, son, in the spirit. Why are you in your hometown? I can see when you're gathering your seed and you're sowing sacrificially instead of placing the priority on you. You make me your priority. Wow. I can see that. 
I could see when you have times where you could do something with the money, but you say, I'm going to sow this into profit. I'm going to sow this into profit. So you unlock a schedule of 48 hours with me. <laughs> Without getting a cheeseburger and snitching. <laughs> That's what I'm going <laughs> Without getting a four for four and telling them. <laughs> Without getting a four for four and telling who shot you. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you can turn it off if it's on. You can turn it off if it's on. But what, what's been on your heart? So when you uh, <laughs> when you were talking about the seed popping, I saw it. It was just God in the seed from the beginning. Right. The seed principle. Right. And when I'm sowing, the seed is speaking to me. It's mm-hmm. like it speaks a different language. So at one point in time, I was speaking a hundred dollar seed language. Yeah. Another time, I was speaking two hundred fifty dollar seed language. And I was speaking a five hundred dollar. And each That's time so you go true. up, it speaks. Wow. And as the the understanding of what the seed is saying. You can, as you go higher, you can hear clearer. Yeah. And, and son, as you're saying that, I hear the Holy Spirit say, the seed have different vibration mm. of sound. Mm. Mm. The seed, man, mm. man, the seed has different vibrations of sound. So uh, sometimes the sound is vague. Mm-hmm. It, it's not yelling to God. It's not screaming. It's not... Uh, it, it's not uh, uh, it's not texturized as desperation. Mm-hmm. The woman with the two mites, her, 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 her seed shouted unto God with the voice of triumph. Mm-hmm. It shouted unto God with the voice of praise. Mm-hmm. Your seed could shout. Um, your seed could pout. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 because, <laughs> because remember the word said, "Don't give grudgingly." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. come on, mm-hmm. son, mm-hmm. come on, son. This, this, mm-hmm. this, 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 this hot oil. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this hot tub of wet. You know. You, you see how the glory got different manifestations. Yeah. See, while we here, we don't got drunk. <laughs> now, now, because I, I heard hot lubricants, but I ain't saying that. But uh, see, when, when we when we get into the zone of uh, you having. Uh, <laughs> When you when you get into the zone of having that hot <laughs> that hot sewing, you understand mm. that hot intimacy with God. <laughs> you understand the sea <laughs> at that level. <laughs> Don't worry, Benny having flashbacks. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I had to delete your messenger after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and see, see, when, when we when we get into pout sewing, see, pout sewing going to take somebody. They're going to take. They're going to get the seed. They're going to sow it, and then they're going to be bitter after they sowed, as if God robbed them. Of what they could have did with that money. I was going to do this. And the Lord robbed me. He stole from me. Now I can't do it. That's pout sowing. Mm. Pout sowing. You'll revisit the seed. And regret that you sold it. Mm. You see that? Mm. Mm. You'll your, your regret that that seed left your hand. You'll regret that there was a, a, a sacrifice that you made. Because now. 
And, and this, you, you know when pout sowing really magnifies itself? When people go back to their demons officially. Mm -hmm. Because now they're serving Satan. So Satan even, because Satan don't forget when you disrespected Satan to honor God. Mm -hmm. So Satan is bitter. Satan will bring it back up. Mm -hmm. See, you should have kept that 5000 mm -hmm. You could have did this with that $1,000. Mm -hmm. So it, that's why it's important. That's why I, I'm teaching you the whole counsel of God about the blood of Jesus. Because as you can see, son, it is to bring apostolic order to the mind so that after you have sown, you don't sin. And if you sin, you catch it to stop it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you sin, that you catch it and say, oh, no, 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 no. This is the path of death, which is to separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Because then Satan going to go back to all the areas where I sold and give me a different interpretation. Tell me that I could have handled it differently because I'm on the other side of the grass now. Mm -hmm. I'm over here with the snakes. Huh? I'm, oh, I'm over here with, with, with these spirits that also fell from heaven. And they no longer have access to the economy like, like I'm choosing to do myself. If man will really understand, uh, there's an invisible account. And I want to talk about this for like, like one minute. There's an invisible account. The invisible account has currency that's beyond what Bennett has in his uh, 52 plus weeks on the earth uh, or while, while he's working a job. This account is dealing with the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So Apostle Paul apostolically, prophetically revealed, my God shall supply all your needs according to your paycheck, according to your income tax, according to your food stamp. No. He said, according to the invisible account, hmm. mm. according to the riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So also, I want you to see this. It didn't say the riches in anointing. Mm -hmm. It said the riches in glory. So it's in the glory realm. Now, what is one of the most simplest ways that I have to tell you that you enter into the glory realm? You have to learn how to focus, be disciplined, and consistently do a divine act. That's uh, one of the simplest ways I could tell you. And also sanctify yourself from people that the Holy Spirit don't want to be around. Holy Spirit don't want to be around some people, and when you're around them, he's not around you. Mm -hmm. Meaning like he, his presence is on mute. Mm -hmm. He don't got much to say. Do you know in real life, if somebody get around somebody that you don't like, you, your, your voice become more dim, like you're not saying too much. They're like, what's wrong? You okay? Because the person don't want to say much around somebody that they don't want to be around. The Holy Ghost, they get, the Holy Ghost don't say much around you when, he, when you're around who he don't want to be around. Mm -hmm. He don't say much. So uh, sanctifying yourself, learning focus, discipline. And, and doing a divine, uh, operating in consistency towards a divine act uh, that you keep on doing it. Now, here's the wild thing. When somebody is in the glory realm, they have access to money and provisions and supplies that is beyond this natural condition that they're in. So if you're living in a hotel room, there's provisions above that. That's why I often tell you my story because despite homelessness, I'm locating people that's paying my rent mm. for months mm. without me doing any illegal activity. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the glory realm, so the investor is in that glory realm. The invisible account is in that glory realm. Mm. The, the, the financial plan of God for everybody's life is in the glory realm. So here's what Satan does. What's the master plan? Get you to fall short of the glory. You fall short of the glory then it, the money in the glory can't get you. Mm -hmm. So as long as you keep falling short of the glory, what's in the glory is, is, is none avail. You try to withdraw from it is impossible because the realm that you have chosen to operate in, in your soul, is anti-glory, mm -hmm. is anti-Christ. Anti-Christ is anti-glory. Now, 
everybody that saw and see got to got to defeat the spirit of Antichrist. Because let me tell you something about the spirit of Antichrist when we deal with believers today. The spirit of Antichrist turns you against your man of God some way, somehow. Because Christ is the anointed one and his anointing and Christ is using the body of your prophet, your apostle. Get that. Get that right there. The body of your apostle, that paper. Yeah. The body of your apostle in order for you to not prosper. Mm -hmm. You see? So what Satan going to do is uh, confront you with the spirit of Antichrist. So you'll become against something that your man of God stands for. You'll look at him and say, this is not of God. The minute that happens, the financial anointing done lifted off to you. The financial anointing is not on somebody's life just because you're doing your best to serve God. The financial anointing is on you because there's a physical man that God has sent to you and you're pleasing them, you're agreeing with them, you're learning of them, you're walking with them and flowing with them. The minute that you start to see criticism, you already in poverty. That's why I'm saying oftentimes people wonder, why would prophets say that I got disconnect from my mama because uh, 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 she carrying poverty? Because she don't got a prophet. 